Hey guys, welcome back to another Reality Check video. Today we've got something super exciting. That's right, a brand new AI software called Rodin from the people of Hyperhuman and Demos. If you've ever seen their previous software that came out that was the chat avatar, which allowed you to use text or photos to create avatars, as we can see kind of popping up down here. I tested this out before and actually put some stuff on my social media. Today we're checking out Rodin, which is basically, and, and I quote, a controllable large-scale generative model for creating high-quality 3D assets. That's right. This is going to be epic. So, wait, wait, go back, go back. Okay, so now that we're back down here. Anyways, so what this allows us to do, it takes basically your text input and turns that into 3D models, which is nothing super new. What is new about this is the exact model that it uses and how it actually creates those models. It's a bit different from other softwares out there, such as like Luma AI's Genie uh, or other models that you've been able to do on your local machine that I've also tried out. Uh, so this is going to be something I want to test out today. And of course, this video is brought to us by Hyperhuman. In. Yeah, that's right. They're sponsoring the video. Uh, as you can see, they gave me some uh, some credits up there. We've got, we've got Buku credits to, to to test out. Yeah, so let's uh, let's go ahead and try those out and use those as most as, as best we can to create some models and see what the software is capable of. So we're gonna be doing a bunch of basic prompts, a bunch of complex prompts, and we're gonna go ahead and check out the different materials and the different ways that you can use the software. Uh, so of course, if you're new to this and you want to get into this for the first time and you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, uh, let me go ahead and bring up the email that I got just recently. This is the newsletter email that came out just less than a week ago. It says, hey, we're thrilled to announce the launch of Roden Gen 1. That's right, Roden Gen 1. It is finally here for you to experience. If you want to share their software with other people and you get people clicking on the referral link, you get credits for free. And not only that, but there is a free trial. So anybody can jump in and try this out just by themselves with no problem, right? Just get it get it going. So, all right, so we've got about 312 credits. I recommend if you're somebody who's going to be needing to create 3D assets quickly and, and, and something that doesn't need to be interacted with, meaning that's just gonna be background type material and stuff that you have to just completely just turn out all the time, why wouldn't you have a subscription to something like this? So, and if I go down here, I can actually see some other models that other people have created. For example, if I click on this first little little almost looks like a banana type guy, I can see that he was created through cyclopean humanoid character with the string attachment. See, I can see the prompt that they used for the character. And then as I go down to look at other things, let me go ahead and make my screen a little bit smaller there so you can see everything. And right here we can see they've got the base model, OBJ, FBX, you know, I can just hit download. It's gonna cost one credit and I can download somebody else's model that's actually been uploaded already, so why not? Let's check it out. Let's 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 hit let's download. I want I want that. Let's do it. Uh, so now that I can download that, I can also share it. I can like it. So because I'm downloading it, I better like it. And it is cute. Why why wouldn't I? So uh, I can spin around. I can see it in geometry. I can see it wireframe, PBR. It's just really nice and easy to test out all the different modes right here from the browser. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at another one. Cat on the skateboard. <laughs> Everybody loves the cat on the skateboard. <laughs> okay, some of these models are super cool. And I can imagine games in the future, like, you know, the Grand Theft Auto series, for you know, for example, they're going to have so many assets that they need to create when you open doors and buildings and when things are happening. I could almost assume that in the future we're going to have AI generative 3D models built into the games themselves. That way you can constantly evolve the game, uh, update it, add art, add models, and things like that. It's going to be a crazy world we're unlocking here with this new type of software. Software. So uh, I, what I love is that all these models that were made publicly available really show off uh, a, a nice distinct difference between each of these. You can see how some of the models are really basic and some of the models are more complex. So I'm going to take a more, uh, uh, this, this model is pretty cool in the fact that it's actually got the metal on the outside. I want to see what they wrote for the uh, prompts. It, so if I want to download this in different ways it's always one credit 4k one credit everything every download no matter what you decide to do is going to be one credit so yeah goes to show right there you can certainly rack up credits fast just by downloading a bunch of different little assets to try out so here's one of the first models I actually created a little while ago my son helped me do this one we downloaded a picture online of a dragon that he chose and then we just wrote fire breathing dragon fantasy creature right and we combined the text prompt with the photo and we're able to come up 
with a dragon just like this and we were putting that into our unity project and, and, and it's gonna be pretty cool so uh, what you can see is if I click outside the screen it says are you sure you want to exit yeah we were sure what's really cool about the software overall is obviously we can sit there and take text and put it into a 3d model but what I really like about it more than just that is the ability to take photos and put those into 3d models and I can take the text and the photos and put that into a 3D model, right? And you can put up to, I believe, five different photos at once into a prompt, and it will sit there and say, hey, I'm gonna merge all these ideas together and try to create a model from just that. So because a lot of these text to generative model type softwares work with an LLM base, we know that we can use simple ideas and things like highly detailed and cartoony, and it should be able to do something with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put just this in right here and see if we can get a nice Chicago. Okay, boom. I'm just so hungry right now, just looking at that. So if we don't like the original generative image that it creates, right, we can just hit this button and it's gonna say, okay, fine. And oh, that one's got a slice taken out of it. Oh boy, so good. But no, let's go ahead and check out even a third one. Let's see, ah, good, but not very Chicago style. Let's go ahead and click number three. Looks good, four. So we can do this all day, and then we can click this button right here if we want to start a new one. So once we hit OK, right, once we hit OK, it's going to put it to the side. This is not quite a Chicago-style pizza, but it looks good to me, and I'm hungry right now. So we're going to select this one, and we can put in another one. Let's put one with mushrooms, highly detailed with mushrooms, right? Let's put that one on. Let's see if we can get some mushrooms in that one now. Mm. Come on, mushrooms. Let's do it. Yeah, we got the mushrooms on there. This one's missing a piece. Although this video is sponsored by Hyperhuman, they didn't tell me what to say or even really give me much information. They said, here's some credits. Now go. Have fun. Play with the software. See what you can do. Try to break it, you know? Um, and so I don't know what all the little things do, and I'm finding that out. Up in the geometry generation area, you'll notice there is a symmetric geometry button, a sharp edges, smooth edges, or simple geometry. We can click these different things depending on what we want to do. Right here, it says redo. Let's go ahead and redo again. Oh, that geometry looks tasty. That's right. So we're gonna go ahead and hit confirm. No, not three credits, one credit, 10,000. Yeah, we better use 10,000 because this pizza is, is important. Is it symmetrical? Is it a symmetrical pizza? No, no, it's not a symmetrical pizza. It says, is the generated object symmetrical? It wants to know so that when it creates its complete geometry, it, it doesn't mess it up. But no, hey, we're gonna say no because it's not, all right? So now it's gonna sit there and say, okay, and it's gonna start generating that geometry into a full complex model with 10,000 polygons. Once it's done with that, again, we're gonna have the opportunity to create the material generation. We're changing this from Chicago style, and now it's turning into a Supreme pizza. That's right, guys. Supreme, Supreme, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry while we're doing this, so that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Come on, Rodin, come on, Rodin, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, Roden. That's right. It's me, Brittany. Come on, Roden. Come on, Roden. It's Brittany. Bitch. So uh, I'm back, and it's still just looking at me right now. And I just I thought the the oh I have to hit confirm. Wait, I, how do I, do I have to hit this button? Uh, PBR is that gonna is that gonna put the color on it? <gasps> oh, there it is. There, it's got no black olives. That's right. Wait, sorry. I got to get back to the thing. It says, okay, and as you can see, we've got the amazing Chicago deep dish mushroom basil pizza there for us to look at. And it looks pretty good. The crust looks just super appetizing right there with that nice tune gleam on it. It's got that, 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 that shine, right, coming off of it. Uh, and so not only that, it takes about, as we see over here, if I click on the download, about three 0.4 megabytes to download one of those models and go ahead we've got this now available to use in our game in our software in our virtual reality world whatever we want to do right it's ready to rock didn't even mention you can also publish the model from here to sketchfab that's right if you've got a sketchfab account just put all your models right into sketchfab and just jump into your platforms your programs that integrate with that and you've got them ready to drag and drop which for some people if you're a developer it's gonna be a lot of different programs, right? Those, those, those jump right into that. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this one. Let's make something new again. This time we're going to add an image from the outside world and see what we can create, right? Okay, let's see what happens when we put a photo of a shoe in there and hit generate. 
Are you kidding me? This thing is actually looking like a freaking shoe. Oh, uh, that's 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 pretty cool. Oops, I did it again. You played with my heart. Got lost in the game. Oops, you think I'm in love. I'm not that innocent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam, bam. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, so it does a really good job at recreating the, the material generation if you just give it a nice base in the first place. If I click on tune again, it makes it nice and kind of <laughs> gleamy and, and plasticky, of course, toony. Okay, so I do think this one is pretty cool. The fact that I created the shoe on Nike's website in their custom shoe maker and it gave me a pretend fake image of a shoe and then I took that fake image of a shoe, put it into Rodin and then got another fake 3D model of a shoe that I could then play with and use for personal things because of course it is licensed with the Nike logo so I'm not allowed to use that in commercial things we know that this is just for purposes of teaching all right so yeah anyways if you're going to be making models make sure you avoid any logos or, or anything like that because you're going to get copyrighted right if you try to put that in anything commercial so this is again just for testing purposes showing off the power of how cool it is that we can take again a simple thumbnail of something that's fake or real and then recreate it like that for just a couple credits in their system. Pretty cool, so not bad. Okay, so for the end of the video, I wanna make sure I can actually use this software, run through, make a bunch of different models, and then show you guys my favorite one. In a world of pixels and dreams, there's a new tool on the scene. Rodin Gen 1, a masterpiece, transforming art into sight to see. With the power of AI, we create a world where our visions never fade. Watch as our dreams come alive. In 3D form, they truly thrive. Oh, I'm Caleb, showing you the way. With Demos Rodin, we're here to stay. Creating art from text, it's true. In this video, I'm bringing it to you. Update time. So as we can see, we've got five photos in Rodin ready to go. And if we choose multi-view, that means it's going to be the same image from different viewpoints. So it can better create this thing, right? This is not a multi-view thing. This is going to be a fusion because we want to take all these different troll characters and we want to try to fuse these elements together into something new. Just like we did in the previous one with Mjolnir and Storm Chaser. We combine those two to create some kind of you know, interesting in-between weapon, right? Which is a thick axe of sorts. So let's go ahead and click Fusion and see how this can compare these guys right here. Anyways, I'm gonna keep playing with some of these models. With Rodin Gen 1, we've just begun. Watch the colors, see them shine in this video, it's our time. Oh, I'm Caleb, showing you the way. With Demos Rodin, we're here to stay. Creating art from text, it's true. In this video, I'm bringing it to you.
I'll see you in the next video, motherfucker.